Yo, what's up YouTube? If you're new here, my name is Gion. I make YouTube videos, photography videos, car videos, all types of videos. There's no limit. Um, today, there's going to be a tutorial. It's going to be how to connect your Sony camera to your live stream. So let's get right into it. Alright guys and girls, there's going to be a few things you need. First things first, is you're going to get your micro USB to USB charging cable for your camera. You're going to download a streaming software such as OBS or Streamlabs or something like that. And then I'm going to link you a download link for Sony's remote. Not an actual remote, there's a remote app. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's get into the camera settings. While I'm showing you the um, settings on my camera, I'm going to use a trusty GoPro. So let's get let's get right into it. First things first, turn it on. Press menu. Mine's already put up there. It's um with a little suitcase is. You go section four on the setup. You click on USB connection, but um on standard it's on auto or mass storage, but you gotta change it to PC remote. That's how you get get it controllable from the app on your computer. Um, I had issues with getting this USB connection ch to be changeable. So what I did is, I had, did some research and figured out that if you use your control with smartphone function, you must have, oh, where is it? If you use your control with smartphone function, you must have it off. If you have it on, I'll show you what happens. If you have it on, the USB connection becomes grayed out and you can't change it. So what you do is you go to menu, go to menu, you go to the little network, first first bar or tab, control the smartphone, off, back, go to, back to setup, page four, USB connection and you change it to PC remote. But that's all you gotta do on your camera. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna download the apps that we need. Get on your browser. Um, I, I, I use OBS, so search up OBS in your browser. I'll put a link in the description anyways. Download what you need, I'll download Windows. Follow the steps. Next, you get the Imaging Edge app, which is the remote for the Sony cameras. This will 100% work with Sony cameras. I don't know about Canon, Nikon, or whatever other cameras you got. 100% works on Sony Alpha cameras. So download it, follow the steps. All right, then you're gonna, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your OBS, and then when you download um, the Imaging Edge app, it downloads like all these apps. You just want, you want the remote, but I just kept it all. But you want the remote, open the remote. So that's my, you don't want this, this is my, my webcam. All right. So what happens is my camera's not connected. So it comes up with this with this error it says camera is not connected. Check the USB or network connection. I am going to switch over to my GoPro and show you guys what to do next. All right. Now that you got your OBS open up on your computer, you've set your camera up into the position you want. You got the remote open, and then you got this error this connection error. Next step is to do is to grab your micro USB, plug it into your computer, and then into the camera. I use my Xbox charger, works the same, but I think there's been issues going around where you can't use any um, cables that aren't native because it doesn't connect, but the Xbox one does. So all good. So we're gonna grab it, connect it into the, oh, wrong way. Connect it into there. Let me hold it real quick. Tight. The error's still there. Computer is reading should come up with the uh, all good. Which we'll tight anyway, so we can, okay. This will pop up. Click refresh. The camera should pop up here. Bang. Double click it. Waiting for response. Three, two, one. Bang. And now you've got the camera on the remote. Next step we got to do is, let's close this a bit, get your OBS, go to the little plus, click on it, click 
window capture. Click OK. And then we're going to click on the window tab, go down and click, make sure you have the remote app selected. So this app down here, make sure you have the remote app selected. Click OK. What you can do is you have this, now it's like this, it's capturing that whole tab. We don't want that. We just want the camera bit. So what you do, you press Alt and then let me, let me put this in my bag and you can get it. So you press Alt and you use your cursor and you can crop it. Right, just like that, readjust the camera, get it going good. One tip before I let you guys go is that while you have your OBS and your remote open, make sure you don't minimize the remote because it stops the OBS from streaming it live. It actually freezes it. I'll show you. So if I look right now, it's all good, all good. But if I minimize this, it's actually stopped it. So make sure you have this open so then it stays on. My trick is, is that I just put it right behind the OVS tab and leave it like that. You set up a game, whatever you want to do. And now you've got your stream with your camera. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, comment if you like. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.